If you have small kids, you may know uh, WALL-E. This is a Pixar movie from uh, only 10 years ago. And uh, this little guy, uh, basically his job is to cruise around uh, a post-utopian uh, uh, world and clean up the trash. And he has been doing this for 700 years on solar power. And the way he does this is through computer vision technology. He has the ability to identify things that are trash and not trash and sort them appropriately, put them into his uh, chest and uh, compact them. But um, it's only been 10 years, and you know this is no longer that far off. I mean, here's a customer of ours, Hike Vision, which is a leading uh, AI company in China. And this factory uh, that they've automated with these uh, little robots uh, ships about $15 million worth of product every single day. And by automating the entire sorting process, they've reduced their costs by 80%. And at the same time, they've increased the efficiency of this particular warehouse by 60%. Um, there used to be just hundreds of workers in this uh, building, and they completely retrofitted it to enable uh, these cute little robots uh, that are operating entirely autonomously using uh, computer vision, uh, optical sensors on the robot to help them determine where they are and uh, understanding where they need to be. Pretty cool. Here's another example, the Terminator, the T-800, uh, whose primary directive uh, is to uh, destroy humanity by finding Sarah Khanna and eliminating her before she can give birth to her son. Um, also a user and fan of computer vision technology, um, what the Terminator also has uh, is natural language processing. So he has the ability to communicate, uh, and he's got a neural net processor CPU, uh, which enables him to be a fully functional cybernetic organism. Um, what some of our customers are doing, rather than destroy humanity, they're trying to save humanity by seeking out uh, to destroy uh, diseases. In this case, GE Healthcare is using AI in production to be able to understand highly complex uh, CT, MRI, PET scan, sonogram, mammogram images. Uh, and what's really important is that you know, these types of images can't be compressed. They really have to be looking at the full res image in order to get the depth and the complexity uh, of the image that they're looking at. In the case of GE, uh, they leveraged a, a toolkit from uh, Intel along with Xeon processors, and they're now getting 16 times better performance uh, on Intel architecture than they were getting uh, uh, prior. And uh, pretty interesting uh, case study that has an impact on everyone's lives. And of course, no conversation of droids would be complete without uh, C-3PO and R2-D2. Uh, C-3PO, also computer vision user, fluent in six million forms of communication, uh, and also uses machine learning to detect people's emotions. In the case of R2-D2, uh, an astromech droid uh, used to uh, transport uh, secret rebel communications, as well as uh, repair uh, starships, uh, operates in low power mode, very important. In fact, what you're seeing here is a lot of these droids, because they're operating outside of a data center, they do require low power, and they do re require high degrees of computational capabilities to handle all of the inference uh, that's coming in through the variety of sensors that they have. And so what we see is that vision is becoming almost the ultimate IoT sensor, and it's transforming every industry. So in retail, we're using uh, computer vision technology to allow for staffless stores. So now uh, in the US, it's Amazon Go that's rolling these out. Uh, in China, it's JD.com. And now shoppers have basically the ability to replicate the online experience offline, which means online, it's a one-click uh, purchase, uh, customized and personalized for uh, your individual needs. In the case of a staffless store, you walk in, you take whatever you want off the shelf, and you walk out. There is no checkout process. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of industrial cases. Uh, in transportation, computer vision uh, technology is going into vehicles uh, with gaze control so that you can understand if the driver is distracted and looking at their phone or uh, if they're, in fact, um, dozing off. Hugely important for safety. Um, in smart cities, uh, digital security and surveillance has been the key 
workload or use case for computer vision technology, particularly here uh, in London, which led the way with a completely blanketed uh, security system across the city that allows uh, city operators to actually track people and vehicles uh, from camera to camera in a networked way. But it's gone way beyond just security and surveillance. Now cameras are being used to uh, help automate uh, traffic situations, to automate the parking uh, situation, and uh, really help with um, pedestrian movement and a number of other things.